Sativa versus Indica versus Hybrid. You've been picking strains all wrong. When you walk into a dispensary, you'll often be greeted with an exciting question. Indica or Sativa? Which one do you prefer? So, how do you choose between the two? And what actually differentiates them? This is what we'll be exploring in today's video. Hello and welcome to Online Medical Card. Get ready to learn something new. Let's just dive in. To help you understand, marijuana strains are commonly divided into three main types. Sativa. These are known for providing an uplifting and cerebral high. Indica. These are known for their calming and sedative properties. And hybrid. These strains are basically a combination of sativa and indica. It's common for consumers and even bud tenders to rely on the labels of sativa, indica, and hybrid strains to determine the effects of a particular cannabis product. However, the difference between sativa, indica, and hybrid strains goes far beyond just their supposed energizing or relaxing effects. In reality, the effects of sativa, indica, or hybrid is highly dependent upon factors like the specific genetics of the plant, how it was grown and cultivated, and even an individual's personal tolerance and biochemistry. According to a study published on Nature.com, it turns out that these labels may not accurately reflect the true genetic makeup of these strains. In fact, all cannabis strains can be genetically and chemically distinct from one another. Even strains with the same cultivar name like OG Kush can have differences. But here's the exciting part. The researchers also suggested that growers and breeders should rely more on factors like aroma profiles, plant morphology, and claimed psychoactive effects when assigning labels to strains. This approach would move beyond the current commercial labels such as indica and sativa, which are not always reliable. Instead, by examining the terpene profiles of strains and identifying genetic markers related to specific aromas, both growers and consumers would have a more comprehensive understanding of the characteristics of a particular strain. In other words, this new system would allow us to truly understand the unique qualities of a strain rather than just relying on broad classifications. So. The next time you feel overwhelmed by the seemingly endless information about sativa, indica, and hybrid strains, just remember that the true nature of each cannabis product is far more complex than a simple label can convey. For more information on cannabis strains and their effects, we recommend checking out our education section on cannabis. Alternatively, you can also speak with online medical cards on-call expert. They'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to our channel. Your support helps us create more content like this. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all our new releases. Thanks again and see you on the next one.